right, so we are back for another edition of the Venture Camelot's Business Spotlight. Today we're at 1366 Hugh Allen Drive, home of Wholesale Furniture Brokers. We're going to go inside, we're going to meet the owners, Dave Zernheld and Serge Tashalowicz, and we're going to hear about their story and how things got going for them. All right, so we are here with Dave and Serge. So, why did you guys choose Camelot's to start your business? That's where we're from. Both from Camelot's homegrown boys? That's right. Four nice. Nice. Yeah. Gotcha. And how long have you guys been going for? Eight years this August. Yeah, that's right. Eight years this August. And a big party or celebration planned for the anniversary? We we do have a little bit of a camping, an annual camping trip that we go on and we celebrate it then, but it's not really a big planned party that you know the whole staff comes to. Maybe <laughs> come the tenth year anniversary we'll, we'll look at something like that. At twenty and thirty and maybe fifty. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. So how long how long you guys been doing it for? You said total eight years, the actual company, but did you guys have a background in furniture beforehand or you just kind of got into the furniture business? Barely had a, a background. Uh, I had a separate furniture business for a couple years before I approached Serge about starting the online version, that's what we call what we're, the past eight years is the online version of the company. And uh, it was actually funny, eight, well, 2002, I came to Serge and said, hey, why don't we start an online furniture business? And, Said, Nobody buys furniture online, Dave. <laughs> they need to see it and touch it first. Which is the, what most people have told us even still. Uh, and actually, when we started the company, we didn't even own a computer for our names. We used to go to Serge's dad's house to do our market research and our planning for you know, a few hours a day. We were really ambitious in the beginning, so <laughs> started at maybe 10, 10.30, after we got our bagels and coffee, and then, you know, finished by 4 or 5. Yeah, it was summertime. Yeah, it started in summertime. So that didn't make it any easier. <laughs> so basically, the TU guys and Serge's dad's basement came up with uh, an online furniture company. Yeah, yeah, that was the origination of it. And then finally, we did get some computers. First, we just one, and then one for each of us. <laughs> that's a big step for you guys. When you're trying to run an online company, yeah, that's a big step. <laughs> and then uh, Serge actually had a room in the bottom of his basement, and uh, that's what we called the cave. That's where the company started to get flushed out and we you know, started putting in some long hours, overnight sessions, building concepts with the website, that sort of thing. Did you guys know a lot about websites before you got into this or it, you just kind of learned as you went or you had somebody paid that you did to do your websites or how did that work? That's a good question. <laughs> we definitely learned a lot since then. I mean, back then, a lot of people weren't even online. It was 2002. To me, the web came out in 1995. That's the first time I ever saw it. So, you know, we're seven years into knowing what the web is, but we're not technical people. We didn't build. We never built websites ourselves. And or originally, then we thought it was best to try to partner with other people with um, specialties, so that we could use their specialties in terms of tech or marketing or contacts in the furniture industry, and to try to put together a good team. Um, that being said, was, uh, things changed as we went and we found that uh, other people had different ambitions and other things that they're doing, so it flushed out some of those other people to leave more so just Dave and myself. But it gave us the base in terms of the technical side of it, uh, it gave us something to work with. And, and then after that, it was more testing, whether it be you know, on eBay or on our own site, to get something that was actually valuable and actually producing results. Producing results meaning selling some furniture. <laughs> oh, it's essentially, it must be an ongoing evolution for your guys' website. That you, you're obviously site isn't the same as it was seven years ago when you got it up and running. It, it must change monthly, if not daily, sometimes, I would think, as to, to keeping up with the times and, and how things go. Oh, absolutely. And like I said, in the beginning, we didn't have any web expertise, so we sort of brought on a partner to help us with that, and that got us started but we found out that wasn't the best partnership, so we moved on to bringing it in-house so that we actually do all the web design in-house. That's not us particularly, but you probably saw footage of people working in the tech room, the blue room, and now we have over six people, because some of them do more than just tech, but they're 100% dedicated to building a whole new platform for the website. So we've been running on the same platform for about six years, which was an open source platform, which and a free one. So we basically took some free software and then spent countless hours and thousands of dollars in paying to customize it and keep it functional for what we needed to. And that's even this website right here is running on that old 
free open source software with a whole bunch of customization that we've added to it. The new system that will be rolled out in the next six to nine months is 100% built in-house from the ground up. So 100% built from scratch by WSB. Hopefully Probably. for what we need in, in, and especially for the growth that we want to get out of it and, and maintain. And so it's, uh, it's more to our exact needs and, and where we want to focus this business going forward. So it sounds fairly labor intensive on that side of things. You guys started eight years ago with the two of you in, in your dad's basement. How many employees are you guys at now? 27 in Canada and some bit more international brings us to 35. Uh, you say international, where are your other offices located? We have an office in Chongqing, China, and another, well, the other one, staff we have in the Philippines work from their homes as independent contractors, and so we have five people. So as Dave and Serge mentioned, this is the head office for wholesale furniture brokers in North America. Let's take a look at behind the scenes of what their office does. So we're here in the shipping department at Wholesale Furniture Brokers. What do you want? Everyone appears to be hard at work today. I can't find the Always. The what? I can't find the Pause my dear. Now we're in the back end, the blue room, or the IT room they call it here at WFB. And everyone seems to be hard at work. So today, most of the WFB team is getting product demonstration. We're having the opportunity to take a look and see what's going on. 